Um, good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everyone. Uh, my name is Erika Getisuka, and uh, me and Eder Porto Ferreira Alves, we are going to present a work from Google Scholar to Wikidata, the Read Neuromatic Experience. <clears throat> so this work will have six parts. The first part, it was the introduction, where, where I explained our motivation. And the second part is about the context of psychometrics in Brazil. And after uh, we explained the analysis of the institutional academic profiles, and after Heather will explain the methodology, the preliminary results, and finally the next steps of this work. So, what is the motivation of this work? This work uh, is worried about the specific production evaluation because we want to analyze and spread the scientific production of neuromat with a critical and reflective attitude. And also, we aim to evaluation as a way to ensure the development and constant improvement of study areas. So, to achieve this goal, these goals, uh, we need to understand the psychometric in Brazil. In Brazil, the research evaluation in Brazil has two systems. The first, uh, is the Qualis Capes. The Qualis Capes is a scientific production evaluation system which defined different levels of classification for the scientific journals in postgraduate course. That means Qualis Capes create 10 levels to determine the important places to publish. In this case, for to define the most relevant uh, conference or journals has the categories of A1 until A4 and the relevant place has the category of B1 until B4 and a good place to publish it has the category of C and there are some journals and conferences where this system is uh, not applied. And in this case, we put the category uh, NP, that means not scored. And this category is a property uh, insert in Wikidata too. And the other system uh, where uh, in Brazil we use to uh, evaluate the research is the Lattice platform. The Lattice platform is a virtual curriculum system that integrates Brazilian curriculum databases, research groups, and institutions. And this all information recently has been added to Wikidata as well. And the question of the institutional academic profiles. Well, we are not interested in analyze an individual author and individual research. We are interested in analyze an, an institutional academic profile, in this case, Neuromat. The Reddit Neuromat is a, is a research of innovation and dissemination center for neuromatics. And the mission of this center is create the new mathematics needed to construct a theory of the brain. This center was established in 2013 with the support from Sao Paulo Research Foundation. And during these 10 years, this center has become one of the most important centers in Sao Paulo, in Brazil, and could be in Latin America too. <clears> this <throat> <Each> center <clears throat> uh, was enabled to create a research network with interdisciplinary collaborators as mathematics, computer science, statistics, neuroscience, biology, physics, and communication, among other disciplines. And the principal of this center is Antonio Valdez. Uh, in this context, uh, we want to apply scientometrics indicators to measure and analyze the impact of neuros neuromat research. At least we consider uh, four basic indicators. 
for instance, the number of publications, the number of citations, the co-authors, and we want to map in the countries and some determinate scientific fields. And also, we want to uh, identify another kind of indicator, as in, uh, for instance, author productivity. And with, with this indicator, we want to present the impact of an author production in an area of knowledge. And also, we want to identify the indicator of journal's degree of attraction. That means we want to we can identify the most relevant newspaper that give the greatest exposure to a specific topic. And we want to identify the keywords frequency to estimate the most recurring themes related to a knowledge area. Currently, we are, uh, we are using the Google Scholar to manage the information of our institutional academic profiles. And in this tool, we can identify at least the basic indicators as the list of publications, the, the number of citations, the co-authors. And in this tool, we can create some graphics as the, uh, the graphic of age index of the publication on Neuromat. But uh, we identified some disadvantage using Google Scholar. For instance, um, Google Scholar has uh, limited possibilities for visualization of that analysis. Uh, Google Scholar has a limited possibilities for visualization of metadata. That means uh, data about geolocation, genre, date, time, and others. And also has a limited possibilities for performing several specific queries. As our case, we have uh, um, in a specific context to analyze. And also, the limited functionalities of the AP of Google to uh, interact. And another disadvantage that we can identify are search results are optimizing according to Google's algorithm. So, relevant source may be left out for not meeting this criteria and search result may be not academic it could be inaccurate or outdated and the most important could be for us is the search results do not equally cover all the areas of knowledge showing a particular weakness in the humanities areas but um we want to uh, call attention on another project, uh, Escolia. Escolia uh, was inspired for our project. Escolia is a project uh, created by Finn Nielsen. And this project uh, shows us how to uh, insert the context of Wikicity um, and how to uh, create uh, graphics and how to manage the bibliographic information with Wikidata. Um, Scolia helps us to provide an academic profile and show us how to um, analyze and create many specific queries, for instance. And uh, we also create an, our per field inside Scolia. Um, Thank you. Of my, is, this is my part. Um, uh, now, Heather will present the methodology of this work. Yes. Uh, so, in this slide, you can see um, a kind of workflow, operational workflow of our. Um, of our work in this uh, project. Uh, so let's start from the beginning. Uh, an article after each each um, rectangle in this workflow is an infinite uh, workflow by themselves. So an article is published. Uh, it takes months and years to publish an article, but then a Google Scholar uh, indexes this article. And this is the process as we are doing uh, doing it uh, today. 
So uh, once Google Scholar indexes this article, uh, we get this, uh, this article published into Zotero. And in Zotero, we clean some metadata and fix some uh, duplicated uh, metadata that is uh, often happens in some non-structured uh, publications. And we, uh, once we finish this uh, cleaning on Zotero, we export this, these publications uh, in this uh, program. That is Zotero uh, using a, a Zotero translator that we modified to, for example, if we have a non-author, a non-publication uh, or, or certain keywords, uh, this um, uh, translator can export these uh, already already with a key ID number you know, and not just uh, plain text. So once we have these articles uh, exported from Zotero to Quick Statement to Wikidata through Quick Statements, um, we have a difficult uh, part to deal with that uh, we have to create or match each one of these four um, shades of blue uh, in the bottom. Uh, that are the authors, the keywords, the venue that this article was published in, and the citations. Uh, particularly the citations is a, a very painful work to do because not, a, uh, not every article has uh, the same um, uh, format of citations and some of them don't use um, identifiers like uh, DOI, ISBN, uh, PubMed ID, and um, or a, a URL for us to find that article. And sometimes that article is not um, available online. So we have difficult to match uh, because we don't have anything to match uh, automatically. Um, this article so we can um, put on Wikidata. But uh, we have this uh, lag here, this path lag in the end, uh, in the purple one for the citations, because once we uh, are able to, for example, for one article, we uh, can uh, get these citations uh, and then we put them on Zotero and from Zotero we, uh, do the same process of creating these items or ident or matching them on Wikidata. Uh, this is the process for one article. It takes a uh, little, uh, so no time to do this. Uh, it takes some time for these four um, aspects, citations published, uh, venue published, author and keywords, but uh, we are talking about uh, 360 uh, articles that we uh, did for Neuromat. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, in this process, we made uh, the upload of 360 uh, articles, uh, book chapters, uh, and, and other publications on Wikidata from Neuromat. And these are some, some cool uh, Sparkle queries that we uh, were able to make uh, using uh, the Wikidata information that uh, in Google Scholar we are not able to, to do, especially because Google Scholar is, uh, the best of my knowledge, not being developed right now. So, and it is closed. So, Wikidata uh, query service is an open and community driven. Um, application. So in the left, in the left, yeah, in the left, you can see all the publications from Neuromat and um, some clo clusters of them with more than three um, articles citing each other. And in the main uh, cluster is about eight uh, 
86 articles from Wikidata, from Neuromatch in Wikidata that sits, uh, cites themselves. And uh, you have an, uh, a zoom uh, on this part of the graph. The graph here on the, the right, uh, the slides will be available after. And you can click on the link to see the query live. I always like to see the bubbles exploding. <laughs> Next slide, please. And in this slide, uh, this, um, this graph is colored so we can see, um, uh, for example, with this uh, analysis of this uh, Sparkle query, we were able to see uh, that most of our, the articles of the Neuromatch were um, citing or at some point citing this particular article that is the first article from the, the research center. So it uh, Galvez look at about uh, 2013 and the, these articles either cite this article or cite an article that cites this article. So uh, you, have, you have a chain of articles uh, uh, com uh, going to this particular article. Next slide, please. We have another graph that I really like, that is the co-author graph showing all the, the researchers that uh, published uh, in uh, Wikidata uh, uh, Neuromat uh, public uh, article. So we will have this graph uh, colored uh, by gender and you have uh, some closed uh, clusters uh, that is something that we are uh, able to see on Google Scholar, and that is an advantage of using Wikidata. Next. So uh, of the future work of these, this uh, work that we are doing is to interpret and discuss the results of the analysis of this academic network that um, we are able to see for the first time uh, using a, a, a Wikidata. We also want to exam, uh, examine, examine the complete uh, the competences and absences of the model represented in, on Wikidata in relations to the basis found in the literature of related works. So we, we don't have just two options, Google Scholar or Wikidata. We have a lot of uh, other databases as well for uh, scientific articles, and we want to make a, a comparison for, uh, of them. And we want also to uh, enable a connection of results with automatry technique, techniques. So automatry is a hot topic for this uh, work as well. Next. And here are some links, some useful links for the RIDC Neuromat, the official page, the a page for friends and people with Parkinson's disease, that is the Project on Paro, that, that, help, that means uh, help, uh, also in Portuguese, and the podcast, The Mathematics of the Brain, and a link to the Neuromat uh, Glanwick partnership in the Portuguese Wikipedia. Next. Thank you. And we'll take some questions. I think we have a few minutes. Yes, we do. Thank you, both of you. Um, I could pick up a question from the other pad, and it is, why don't you rely on a citation bot? So uh, the citation bot, uh, we discovered uh, after we made this, this work, we discovered this year, that there was a bot adding citations and that would be a relief for, for me <laughs> when I was working directly in importing these references. We have a um, corpus of 
360 uh, articles, and that resulted in more than 10,000 references. We were able to use Crossref uh, search uh, API and to get the DOI uh, identifier. So we managed to upload to Wikidata and match and, and create article on 9,000 articles on Wikidata. But this uh, part is uh, a manual work. But this bot, uh, we discovered by an error by this bot that was duplicating the work that we already did. So we uh, reverted the, the edits and the bot, I think it was um, uh, stopped for, for a moment to, to check this, this duplication. But we are totally in favor of uh, bots that facilitate our work. <laughs> Great. Thank you so much, Erika and Eder, for your presentation. I think in the other part, there are no more questions. If there's no more questions in the room, I think you made it. And thanks very much. <laughs>